Hello and welcome back, my name is Jay Rivera and we are back with more Sky Shines Bedlam. <laughs> Couldn't remember what I was playing there. Um, but yeah, we came up with this dilemma of do we want to head for the crude or do we want to head for the elite and then backtrack towards the crude. And I think going to the elite is probably going to be the best idea and then backtracking to the crude. But then again, we're going to have to come through this way. But I don't know if elites disappear. So, yep, we'll go for the elite. And we haven't yet hit Biv. Right, okay. Biv's pretty cool. He's a gunslinger. Which is nice. Um, you need to leave. Do we want to bring another frontliner? What's Biv? He's gunslinger, which means he's mid-range. Yeah, we'll bring another one. We're going to be all gunslingers, so a trench two trenches is definitely a better idea than... than another gunslinger. Or is it... Uh, blah, 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 blue. Right, we'll go with the gunslinger. And the way that sister works is she is a little bit risk versus reward because she loses health every turn. But I believe she gains damage. She could become very helpful. Right, so we have a gunslinger over here. And he has 11 health. That's not good. And we also have another gun gunslinger over here with 11 health. Fuck shit. Um, we've got 9 health. They do 2 damage. That's fine. But I think we need to pull Ch Chunderrock down and deal with this guy. Best we can. And we're actually going to pull Sister into a more... A better position. And that's the end of our turn. And they have a million shots. Right, that's actually not a bad thing because Chunder Rock gains health every turn, just the way that the mutants do. So right, we're going to hit this guy, taking him down. And then if we pull these two back... We may be able to... Oh, damn you. No! Thank God they didn't go for another attack there. Right, he's on five health. She's on two health. But we can only move once, then shoot for nine damage. And then, if we pull this guy in front of her, it should stop them shooting her, maybe. And he'll retaliate if they come in. Let's see if that works. Right, he should retaliate. Nope. Why is he not shooting back? That's the question. Right, so we want to hit here. That's for certain. And then we want to hit another one here as well. Shit, that front line I can finish him off next turn. Here comes Biv. Power cells, right. Oh, shit. 
did not think of that. Fuck. Two health, he's back to full health. What health you got? You got 12, are you in sister's range? No. Right, I think we'll move Chunder Rock up. I'm actually going to use this now. And push him back. No! <laughs> Fuck, I would rather have Chunder Rock than Biv as well. Pull her back and hit that guy for one. Right, and he can attack, which is fine. Seven, you do three. You have to move and kill him. Oh, no. I would much prefer Chunder Rock over Biv. Biv's good, don't get us wrong. Biv is good. But... To lose an elite, to gain an elite, probably isn't worth it. Right, let's do these points of interest and then we'll head back towards our crude. She's not good. He's not good. Biv's gonna have to come along. We're gonna bring Exploder. Why has she only got four health? That's ridiculous. Digi Apple. And Embrasa, who is nearly leveled up. Which is good, because having a couple of um, veteran frontliners is probably going to be a good thing for her. But it can't be a bad thing, can it? You've got one kill, zero, zero. I've put no kills in. The oh, Chris Dog, he's got a kill. Yeah, you've never been on battle. Right, let's go. The team is looking very, very frail at the minute. And I don't like it. I do not like it at all. These have ridiculous amounts of health. 10, 10, 9, 13. How much is that? 32. Is it worth it? I could hit them all. Do you know what? Let's see if we can do it without it. We could take you up in the cover. And we'll drop you back and take a shot at this guy. Let's see how that fares for her. 
Right, that's fine. Let's take that guy down. Get ourselves into cover. Bring Biv up for a little support. See, Biv loses health though, that's a bad thing. But he can tear through people. That's the good thing anyway. Five. There is a lot of power cells on this mission. But that guy's just too dangerous to leave there. I knew we were going to lose Artemat. Losing my front line, I lost with a point as well, didn't it? So, let's move you around here and let's just hope that this guy doesn't run at work. Right, if we pull Biv over here, he can take out that dead eye. And then he's gonna die. <sighs> Fuck! This is what I don't like about cyborgs. Looks like we're actually going to lose this mission because of it as well. Well, we can kill this guy. Oh, fuck. This... It seems like it's completely weighed against you. Um, this whole checking of the investigation points isn't the best idea in this mode. As I say, as I oh, carry on doing it, um, can I not go back? Can I go back? Nope. It looks like this could be the end of the team, really, because we're going to have to run with a pretty much standard squad. Right, none of the other guys have kills, but we'll bring Jazirum. And we'll bring a couple of trenchers. We're gonna just have to run with that, really. Two trenchers, two snipers, and hope for the best.
Right, so let's grab that. Let's head back. And what we'll do is we will bring you up into cover. Bring you up into cover. Right, we'll get a free hit here, which knocks them into the range of the... No. Damn. I thought I judged it right way. I thought I judged it where we could um, push them into a sniper, but it doesn't seem like it. If we move, we die. Right. We're going to extend the AP and we're actually going to heal that guy up. Chris Dog, drop back, kill that guy. Let's grab this and pull you completely back. Now they kind of have to move into our sniper's range to deal damage. I want you there. Grab this crude. crude. Get back into your cover. And I kind of want you in the middle cover more than anything else. Because the trench has got to come here to hit you. Yes, he will knock you out of cover, but it leaves him open to die from Jazirum. So you can move three places in front of you. So if we put you like... So if we put you here, is it? Yes, it's here. You can move and kill... Or, or that dead eye can move and kill you. But now he's in your range, you can kill him. Cool. Veteran. And which, I mean, I think fills your health back up. Awesome. Right now... Oh, shit. You can move and you can shoot, but still means that this guy's going to die, really. Him being in cover is not great. Just push him out of cover there. And then what I want you to do is get the hell out of dodge. Ah, fuck. Deal with this guy, okay? And you're gonna die anyway.
Health you got six, he does five. Which means we need him to attack before we attack. It's the main priority. But what we'll do is we'll move you along. What's his range? He can attack here. And that's where you can attack from, okay. You would think as a veteran you would have one extra movement place. Right, we'll have you pull this way. Which means you're both kind of covering each other. If you pull into here, right. I knew one years was going to take a shot, but it means you can kill him. Just. Oh, fuck. Right, cool. Get this guy. Dead. We need you here covering. <laughs> we just kind of need you covering each other, really. But he's coming in from the side that you're on covering. Definitely do not want Chris Dog to die. Right, cool, we'll get a shot away. Then where can you move? Here. Right, nice. We can move. And we can shoot. Awesome. Jesus Christ. I don't think my heart can take this anymore. They just get far too many movements. Because they have so many people on the battlefield. One thing that I do think that we need to do is upgrade the dozer to... Insufficient power cells. Okay. Yeah, but we are going to need equalizers. That is it. That is all I can really say about this situation. Equalizers are going to be our bread and butter at the minute. So knocking them down to hopefully be like two or three power cells per turn is probably going to be our best bet. Whereas in the old version of the game, the normal version, it wasn't too it wasn't too bad if you didn't have power cells because you never really need to use the equalizers drive on I'm not going to do the points of interest here we're going to head to the border because bedlam is coming right sister for sure DJ Apple we have three veteran snipers Drop Chris Dog for um anybody got any kills? Nope, nope, nope. Hunter has a kill, but right, okay, we'll swap 
Huncher out for Croffer. Let's just go and let's just hope for the best. Lots of dead eyes. Which is not a bad thing at all. What we'll do is do Power. that. Bring you into cover. You're covering that area. We'll have you pulled down here. You, uh, you kind of get into cover, so just move one up. That's fine. You do nine damage, is that it? But you do ten. Cool. And we shall drop you back again, my lady. They are shooting the shit out of Sebastian. So it's like only seven power cells to use this now. Crude. Right, so if we grab that crude, we'll start pulling him back. Pull him completely back. Right, so the trench has headed into cover. This gunslinger is coming round. He's got 11 health. Look who does 11 damage. Boom. Right, we're kind of in a form of turtle here. Where we cannot really move out, or else we're going to die. But sister may as well be taking pot shots at everybody who moves. It's fine, but you kind of take another shot. And I think she is going to be the saviour of this team. Right, we can hit him twice, that's fine. <laughs> I was trying to think how we were going to deal with him there. And that was a pretty successful encounter, first one of the night. So, I think this is a good place to actually end off the episode. It hasn't went well. It really hasn't went well. I think the whole tactic side of it, the, the whole new game mode kind of overwhelmed us with the amount of turns that they've got. It's very hard to predict the way that they're going to move, the way that they are going to attack you. But I'm happy that we kept Sister. Even though we lost Biv but in his first mission and we lost Chunderock, I'm very happy that we kept Sister. Sister is the main priority of this team right now. But yeah, like I say, I'm going to end it here. Please do drop a like or a comment if you did enjoy the episode. Stay hidden, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.